I'm told that it is a man thing, but I love to be praised. If I've hoovered or cleaned the bathroom, if I've put a wash on, if I've tidied up, I love to be told thank you or well done. It looks so clean or who's a good boy then? Now, before you stereotype me too much, I'd like to add two things in my defence. Firstly, I am more than happy to do these jobs. They are things that I do regularly, most weeks. It's not like my wife does 90% of the jobs and I still want a well done for the 10% I do. The split's more like 80-20. And secondly, I will always make an effort to say thank you, to acknowledge it when other people have done jobs around the house as well. But the sad fact of the matter is that if I've worked hard at something and it goes unacknowledged, I find that really hard. And I'm sure I'm not the only one. In our reading today, it talks about praise from people and it condemns some of those that Jesus had encountered. It says, because of the Pharisees, they would not openly acknowledge their faith for fear that they would be put out of the synagogue. For they loved human praise more than praise from God. People were worried about what those in front of them might do or think or say about them, more worried about that than doing what was right. They were more worried about what people might think than they were about what God had to say about it. Lots of us, I think, are people pleasers. Some of us find it hard to say no to other people. We don't want to let them down. We, many of us, want people to think the best about us. But the problem is, too often it can lead us to agreeing with others, to going along with what they say, to doing things and saying things we know are not right, just to please people. We are afraid that if we disagree, if we are different, that it might cause conflict and we do our best to try and avoid that. And so you might find yourself gossiping about someone else's family issues, even though you know that gossip is wrong, because others are doing it. You might fail to challenge selfish or harmful behaviour when you see it, because you don't want to rock the boat. You might end up living your life in the same way as everyone else around you, because you want to fit in, you want to be liked, you want to please. You're concerned about what others think. But the Bible calls the people of God to be different. We should all absolutely be seeking to please someone else rather than just doing our own thing. But the someone that we are looking to please shouldn't be Sandra from work or Jim from next door. It should be God. We absolutely should be trying to change what we think and say and do in order to fit in with someone else's opinions, but it should be God's opinion. What God thinks about something is more important than what Piers Morgan or Holly Willoughby or your next door neighbour thinks. It's not even close. Align yourself to him. For God's sake, we need to be prepared to disappoint people. Just like the Jewish leaders should have been strong enough to stand up to the Pharisees for the sake of Jesus. Get used to disappointing people. To standing up and being different. Work on seeking the praise of Father God. We have completed week four of our reading challenge and well done if you're up to date. We've got three weeks to go and on Monday we're going to be reading John 13 verses 1 to 20.